Hey, this is Amanda from Albany Mountain Homestead, and I thought I'd share this quick tip with you. How do you know when your melons are ready? You look for a couple of things. Dead leaves, the right color, but the other thing you're looking for is the tendril nearest to your melon to be brown in color and dying, and this one is definitely dying. So, time to pick your melons. It's actually pretty sweet. Would you eat more of it? Yeah. Kind of tastes like a cantaloupe. And today I wanted to try this new melon. I've never had it before. This is the first time I've grown it. So I can't quite say if even this is the, uh, the biggest that they get. My vine was a little puny, so we'll see. But I did um, previously show you a tip on how to know if your melon is ripe based on how the vine looks, um, which is, you know, the leaves that are closest to the melon will start dying off as well as the closest tendril. And it, once those are dying back, that's a pretty good indicator that your melons are ready to harvest. And I'm going to give this a try. This is a cicada melon. I got the seeds from Baker Creek. And let's give it a try. First, I want to kind of weigh it and see what we're looking at here. But it's a, about the size of a good apple. Okay, so... Uh, let's change that. This is about a 10 ounce melon right here. And this is about an 8 ounce. Alright. And uh, just another little tip too, if you're wanting to protect your scale, I put mine in a plastic bag. That way if anything spills or whatever, it's easier to clean it up. So now we're going to go ahead and cut into the melon and see what we're going to get. Well, there's not a lot of flesh in there. There's quite a few seeds, but we're going to give it a taste. I might just go ahead and save the seeds so that we can have more melon in the future if it's a good melon to grow. I'd have to say if um, it's not going to produce much more than this. Uh, I only got like three melons. Granted, I got my garden in pretty late this year. I would had gallbladder surgery, so... Just put the seeds in here and if you're looking to save your seeds uh, for melons and other squash type um, vegetables you can soak them in water and the for like two three days and then later on you'll uh, rinse them off and you only want to save the seeds that stay at the bottom of the dish because those are your viable seeds, if you didn't know. So just another little tip. And here we go. To me, it tastes a lot like a honeydew, maybe a tad sweeter. I would probably grow this again, mostly because it is like a personal size melon. But if you're looking to get, you know, the most out of your garden, especially if you have a small garden, it might be better to just grow a honeydew melon on your own. But it's a cute little snack. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next time. Thanks.